Whether you're looking to try out full body tracking for the first time or dive even deeper into VR immersion with face tracking, HTC Vive has seven accessories that you will definitely want to consider adding to your setup. Accessory number one is the Vive Ultimate Tracker. The Vive Ultimate Trackers are the perfect way to achieve true standalone full body tracking for headsets like the Vive Focus Vision, Vive XR Elite, and even Quest headsets, as long as you're connected to PC via Quest Link or Air Link. Setup for Vive headsets is very simple. All you need to do is plug the dongle that comes with the Ultimate Trackers into a USB-C slot on your headset and follow the setup instructions on screen. When it comes to third-party headsets that can connect to PC, like the Quest headsets, you'll plug the dongle into your USB-C port and then plug that into your PC. And you will need the streaming hub downloaded. For more details on how the setup process works, I'm gonna be leaving a card here, which you should see up there, that you can navigate to if you wanna learn more about how the setup process all works. The Ultimate Trackers are also capable of object tracking, which can be extremely helpful to developers who are looking to give physical objects a digital location. The pogo pins on the back allow for even further communication between the device and customization for applications like VR arcades. These trackers will work with any app or game that supports full body tracking. Some of our favorites include VR Chat, Dance Dash, and Blade and Sorcery. Accessory number two is the Vive 3.0 trackers. Just like the Ultimate trackers, the 3.0s allow for full body tracking in VR. But the big difference is that these are meant for headsets with base station setups. They work with 1.0 base stations and 2.0 base stations. They tend to be a top pick for those who are using any base station tracked headset, like the original Vive, the Pro 2, the Valve Index, and so so forth. They're small and lightweight, which makes them a great upgrade if you still have the Vive 2.0 trackers. Tracker 3s are also used for object tracking. This is beneficial to developers or businesses that are interested in using these trackers for unique setups and situations. Both trackers can also be using game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine with our SDK. Another key feature to mention is the compatibility between Mars Cam Track and our 3.0 trackers. Indie creators and major studios have been using this combination to blend production tools with virtual worlds. It's one of the most affordable solutions on the market when it comes to virtual production. And you can learn more about Mars Cam Track by checking out the card above. Accessory number three is the 2.0 base station. If you still have 1.0 base stations, now is a perfect time to upgrade. The 2.0 base stations have 150 degree field of view, while the 1.0s have 110 degrees. This will give you a noticeable difference in tracking quality. They also allow for a longer range, allowing more flexibility in larger play areas. Another great feature about the 2.0s is that you can use up to 16 base stations, whereas the 1.0s only allow for two units. This is a massive upgrade, giving you a lot of freedom. This is typically used in an arcade environment like Sandbox VR with multiple players, whereas hooking up four 2.0 base stations at home in each corner of your room will be sufficient. Unless you're trying to create a Sandbox VR experience at home, you won't need 16 2.0 base stations. But if you want to try it, then more power to you. Something to note is that you cannot mix 2.0 and 1.0 base stations, as they use different methods for syncing. Accessory number four is the facial tracker for Vive Focus series. This face tracker is a great addition to either your Vive Focus Vision headset or any of the Focus series headsets. With up to a 60 hertz refresh rate, 38 different blend shapes across face tracking, lips, jaw, cheeks, chin, teeth, tongue, and various eye tracking parameters, this opens up the door to being a lot more expressive in VR. VR chat is a great use case to be able to connect deeper with your friends or if you're live streaming, recording, or doing something like VTubing. As long as the app or game supports face tracking as well as your avatar, you'll be able to utilize face tracking with this device combined with the right headset. Another great use case is that you can use the SDK support for face tracking in engines like Unity and Unreal Engine. This opens the possibilities for you to make your own games, films, animation, or anything of that nature using our technology. This tech expands beyond entertainment, but is also great for training and education when it is critical to see someone's face expressions or eye movement. Accessory number five is the full face tracker. Yep, the one that everyone's been saying looks like Squidward.
password. This face tracker is specifically for the Vive XR Elite, which is one of our standalone VR headsets capable of being completely standalone or connected to a PC wired or wirelessly while gaming or using applications. We wanted to make a face tracker specifically for this headset so you can continue to get that expressiveness that you love with an even smaller on-the-go headset. And you can learn more about the differences of the Vive Focus Vision versus the Vive XR Elite by watching our video linked in the card above. This accessory covers the same things as the Focus Series facial tracker, but is exclusive to the Vive XR Elite. Just for clarity, this tracker right here, the Focus Series facial tracker, is not compatible with the Vive XR Elite. That's what the full face tracker, this one here, is for. Accessory number six is the wrist tracker. While not available to the direct consumer, you can get a Vive wrist tracker. These have specific use cases like enhancing hand tracking by providing an extra reference point to the VR system to determine your hand position more precisely. They're also used for real world object tracking in virtual environments with six degrees of freedom allowing for more immersive interactions with physical props in VR. This is useful for any kind of professional training scenario as well as sports related VR applications to help with analysis of movement. This allows for tons of options for developers to create custom tracking solutions adapting to a specific project's needs. And accessory number seven is su surprise! <laughs> the deluxe pack, which actually has four accessories. This pack is specifically designed for the Vive XR Elite, coming with the Face Gasket 2.0, the MR Gasket, the Deluxe Strap, and Temple Clips. These are all quality of life improvements for the XRE. The Face Gasket 2.0 is a great foam gasket that helps make the headset more comfortable. The Deluxe Strap is the same as the Vive Focus Vision head strap, creating more balance on your head and looseness or tightness around your head, depending on your needs. The MR Gasket is great for allowing space between the headset and your eyes so you can merge your realities more seamlessly. And of course, the temple clips to help strengthen the arms of the Vive XR Elite. The best part is, if you don't have a Vive XR Elite yet, and you decide to get one, it automatically comes with these four additional accessories. With so many great options to choose from, I'd love to hear which accessory you're looking forward to the most. If you want to take a look at some of our holiday deals, I recommend checking out our latest headset that we released, the Vive Focus Vision, which you can get at this price for the holiday season of 2024. And we also have a three plus one bundle going on for the Vive Ultimate Trackers. Trying to understand the difference between the Vive Ultimate Tracker and the 3.0 Tracker? Well, make sure to check out this video next so that you know which one you should buy.